Hello, this is Mark from My Keys to Music, and in this video, we're taking a look at how to export your sound listings. And what do I mean by sound listings? I'm talking about your program list, your list of pianos, the list of samples that are loaded on your keyboard, and if you own a Nord Stage 3, you can also additionally list out your songs as well as your synth listings. And if you like lessons like this, you can check it out at www.mykeystomusic.com where I have comprehensive training for the Nord Electro 5, the Nord Electro 6, the Nord Stage 3, and the upcoming Nord Wave 2. Thanks for joining me. Let's begin the lesson. In this lesson, we're talking about exporting, customizing, and even printing your Nord keyboard sound lists. So what do I mean exactly by sound lists? If you look at the Nord Sound Manager application, I happen to have it connected to my Nord Stage 3. It's powered up, so I'm able to see all the sounds within. And it's broken into sections. Primarily, we have the piano, and these are a list of pianos. Sample libraries. In other words, these are all the samples that are loaded on my Nord Stage 3. Then we have the programs, and then the synth area, or all the synth presets. And then finally, the songs. Here we see a chart of the various Nord keyboards that are popular today. Your keyboard may or may not have the ability to play pianos or songs or set lists versus those that do like the Nord Stage 3. So what you see in the screen here in this tutorial may be a little different than what you see on your keyboard, but all Nord keyboards have the ability to have a program list at the very least, which is primarily what I think this feature is going to be most useful for. It might be nice to be able to export these lists and customize them for use on a gig or for your own organizational purposes. All of this is possible with this one simple trick. And it's one of those hidden features that once you find out about it, it's pretty cool. So if you're in the Nord Sound Manager and you simply go under File, Export Sound Lists, you'll be able to do that. And it's going to ask me where I want to store them. Please select the folder where you want the exported sound list to be placed. I will download it and put it in a new folder that I've allocated here on my desktop called My Sounds, and I'll click Open. And then you'll see it just takes a second to export all of those lists. And what you end up with, let me hide the Nord sound manager application and open up this folder. And what you end up with is some pretty cool listings. Now they're labeled Nord Stage 3 Piano, Program, Sample Library, Song, and Synth, as you can see here. So it follows suit to what we saw in the Nord Sound Manager. In addition, it's date stamped. So we know when we exported it and it's formatted in a way that's very flexible. It's an HTML format. So that means if I double click on it, it should open up your default browser. And when you open it up like this, you should get a nice, neat list with labels, even some basic formatting here. We have the gray against the lighter gray so we can see it better. And for the pianos, for example, we have the partition. That's where it's stored. So it's in the piano section of the Nord keyboard. We have the bank, which is sort of like a category, uh, grand versus upright versus electric versus clavs, etc. Then we have the location and then the actual name of the piano, the version of the piano, and the size, which could be handy. Then we have the uh, other miscellaneous information, which is actually pretty useful. We can see that this one's used by 181 programs and so forth. Now you might be asking yourself, well, why do I care about this? I have all this information already in the Nord Sound Manager. Why do I need this? In fact, the Nord Sound Manager already can sort this and it can filter it. And you can even sort it by bank and so forth. So uh, why do I care about this? Well, the key here is what you're about to see. I'm going to close this, and actually I'm going to open up the program file that came with the Nord. But look at the program list. Now your Nord keyboard, for the most part, depending on the model you have, can hold up to 400 different programs. So that's quite a hefty list. What if you wanted it sorted by name? What if you wanted it sorted by category, then by name? What if you wanted it sorted by all the panel A's that use a certain sound? What if you wanted it sorted by panel B? You can do that. Why? Because I'm going to collect this and copy it to my clipboard. So I'm just going to click anywhere on this HTML page and select all. On the Mac, it's Command A. Or you can get it from the menu here, Edit, Select All. And then in that same motion, I'm going to then copy it to the clipboard. In fact, I'll close the HTML file and I'll open up a new browser window and 
look for Google Sheets. And I can just put in Google Sheets into any search engine here and locate Google Sheets. If you don't yet have a Google account, this might be a reason to set one up. There's no charge for participating as a Google member. Uh, in fact, if you're subscribed to this channel, you already have a Google account, and there's no doubt about that. So I'm going to go to Google Sheets now, and I'm going to create a brand new sheet. And the beauty of the way they formatted this, once I copy it to the clipboard, I can simply push A1, which should be defaulted that way, and I'll paste it, which is Control V or Command V on my Macintosh, Control V on your Windows machine. And wow, now I've got this list in Google Sheets. And now the world is your oyster in terms of what you can do with it. We could sort the list and you can easily go to the top column and then click sort sheet A to Z and it'll sort that list exactly by that particular column. And of course it'll bring in the header. There's other ways to do it. For example, if you wanna selectively just grab a portion of the list and then right click and then say, sort range that'll take whatever I've highlighted there and I can pick the column I want to sort by I'll pick column D for the name click sort and now your header stays the same and I've sorted just the selected list by name or I could select all by clicking up here like this right clicking click sort range again this time say that the data has a header row so it doesn't include it and then it actually is going to give me a list of names that I want to sort by. So again, if I want to sort by name, I can do that. Then push sort. That will sort my entire list by name while keeping and preserving my header row. All right, let me undo that. While it's still selected, I'll do this one more time. Click sort range. Include the fact that the data has a header row. This time I will sort by bank and add another sort column by name. And that way you can do multiple sorts. It's preserving my bank sort order, but within the bank, it's sorting by name. This opens up an unlimited amount of possibilities for sorting and categorizing these programmatically. Obviously, if you're making a song list or a set list for a specific reason, you might not be able to do it by name, by category, or by any of that criteria. You might just need to manually sort it and we'll show you here in a minute how you can drag these rows up and down and move things around a little bit. So I'm going to grab A1 through A11, which would be the first set of sounds, and I'm holding the shift key to do that. So I'm just clicking A1, holding the shift key, and then pushing all the way to column K. Then I'm gonna copy that to my clipboard, so Command C. Then I'll create a new sheet here and paste that, and now I've got my first customized list. Now, what if I want to attach a song name to this, for example? I could do that. I can, instead of using partition for the word program, we don't really need that. I can put song names in here. So I could just say song one, song two. Uh, you could just say loving you. Let's say that's a song name. Let's say um, one Sunday is a song name, etc., etc. So you could put in your song names here. Other things you can do, now you can format it to your heart's desire. Let's just say I want bank and location centered so that they're center justified, looks a little better. And then you can double click here between your columns and that will auto resize to the largest width of whatever the information within that column is contained. Version, I think I'll, I don't need version. I'm just gonna delete that whole thing. In fact, I'll right click here and delete the column. And then panel A, I can look at that. I can look at the panel A sample library assigned to that program. There's panel B and the sample library associated with that. And then I have a nice info field here. It's quite flexible because now I'm in Google Sheets and I can um, do this any way I want. Now let's say I was creating a custom set list and generally speaking, this short list of 10 programs here is my go-to sound settings, but Let's say I'm constructing a, uh, a set list for a gig. I can just copy this here and I'll even paste it down here and I'll just say um, short set. Okay, so let's just say this is my short set list and on this particular gig coming up, I want Loving You as the last song. So I can just uh, push and hold 
16 here and drag it down to the end or to the end like this. And now I've resorted my list in a unique way that really is not as easy to do any other way. Um, let's just say that, okay, well, for this, I don't really need to all the information in this column. So I'll delete these columns here. All right. In fact, I'll delete those by right clicking in one of them. And that way it uh, deletes all the labels too. Uh, let's go ahead and move this to another sheet. Copy that and paste that into another sheet. Okay. So you can see how this is evolving. If you want to stay organized, this is a neat way to do it. You could do it all in one Google sheet with multiple subsheets here down below and have a whole uh, place for all your set list and all your organized sounds for your Nord keyboards. Now watch this. I'm going to add, uh, actually, let me get this. I'm going to insert one above this and one above this. And I want to put those labels back on there because they're very handy. Copy this label set, which is just that row. And I'll paste it here. There we go. Now I've got my labels again, and then this is not going to be partition. I'll rename this to song. All right, this is starting to shape up. So now I've got the bank, the location, and the name. Let me delete those as well. Thanks for being patient here while I explore this. It could spark some additional ideas for you. Now I'm going to copy this label and paste it here, and I'm going to put control pedal. Let's just say I also want an indication as to which programs are going to be using a control pedal in the setup. That will remind me that, oh yeah, this song uses a control pedal. So watch this. I'm going to just highlight this row by clicking here and holding the shift button and then clicking the last row and then insert checkbox. And now I have a nifty checkbox as to which programs I want to use the control pedal on. It's a nice reminder on the setup. Now, written set lists or even ones that you put on your iPad might be considered old school by some because technically speaking, you can create your own set lists using a program called Main Stage for the Macintosh. And I'm sure there are other MIDI control programs for Windows that you can use and adopt and connect to your keyboards. But that does definitely mandate that you bring a computer with you, which for some is just that extra bit of equipment that they have to worry about and set up. It may not be worth it. Then again, that's not the only feature of MainStage. The MainStage is an amazing controller application. If you're ready to jump into that, then you could consider that as your set list uh, manager as well. And while we're on that topic, for those who want to pursue the idea of using MainStage for a set list generation mechanism or a set list controller, I've identified an article here from Eric Barfield. It's a blog article where he uses a Nord Stage 2, actually, and he talks about how he uses MainStage as uh, this mechanism for these large set list that he has. So if you want to check that out, I'll put a description below in the video here, and you can learn about how others are doing this today uh, with the latest tech. But this is a nifty way to immediately see some benefit here by exporting those, putting them in Google Sheets, massaging them to your heart's desire, and then using them however you want. The other advantage is, of course, we mentioned this earlier, printing. I can choose to print it to a PDF and all of that stuff. In addition, I can format this any way I want. Let's just say I wanted this highlighted color in a different color, the fill color, let's say a yellow. Now I've got my own colorized set list, which could be good. If you find that this exporting list thing is a benefit to you, feel free to share this video tutorial with your friends and pals on the Facebook groups for the Nord users, the Nord user forum, or any other place that you think people might benefit from this sort of information. I appreciate you joining me on the channel. Feel free to subscribe and like. We'll catch you on the next one and stay tuned. <music>